Hey folks, what's going on? It's uh, Steve D here, one half of the Bros D. Mark is on hiatus. He's on baby duty now. Uh, we haven't really posted a whole lot of content lately, just for obvious reasons. The whole COVID mess and everything else that's going on uh, in our lives, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, just haven't really been up to the task lately. So. Um, I thought I was bored sitting around after watching the Flyers win tonight and uh, felt like having a one beer just to kind of celebrate and I thought what better to do than maybe just have it with some of my uh, my newfound snacks that I've had, got here laying around. Um, back in the day, uh, back on MySpace, believe it or not, back in those days, we're going way back, I used to do like a bizarre snack foods blog kind of thing, like once a week I would do something weird. Um, I was always inspired by Andrew Zimmer and I used to like his show, the bizarre food show where he would eat um, all kinds of weird crap, he'd be eating like beetles and you know, all kinds of weird, nasty, disgusting stuff. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to just try some really weird snacks? I would try, like, seafood chi or seafood, seaweed chips and weird stuff like that. Um, you know, any kind of weird, kind of bizarre thing. Or just weird, cool stuff that, you know, I don't see a whole lot. A lot of, like, retro stuff from my youth and stuff like that. So, um, but uh, Maria came over tonight and uh, gracefully let me watch some of the game with her, which was nice. Um, although, uh, you know, I really kind of probably could have watched a couple shows in between that second and third period and just stuck on for overtime because it was really ugly. But hey, a win's a win, right? Why not? So anyhow, she stopped by and she dropped off a couple cool snacks. Actually, one of which, well, first off, uh, I'm going to do a little beer with this too. This is Burial. I got this the other day. This is Gang of Blades. I thought I saved myself the other double. This actually isn't my favorite of the series um, so far. This one I thought was like a little on the bland side. I don't know why, but it's very it's very smooth. Um, it's got some cool artwork, skulls, and the like on here. It's pretty neat. Um, it says Click of Knives on the bottom. Uh, gang of Blades, Click of Knives, I guess, whatever. Uh, it's 8.3 on the old uh, factor there. Uh, it's uh, Citra, El Dorado, Idaho 7, and Centennial, which I do like the Citra in Idaho 7. Um, and it's got uh, Dose with Incognito and Cryo also. Uh, I think that's after the, uh, I think that's dry hop with that. Yeah, it's double dry hopped, of course. So, whatever. There's a lot of hops in here. Anyway, that's not the real big star of the show tonight, though. But I will give it a pour. In my favorite Flyers glass even though I don't usually use regular pint glasses for this. Um, I usually like to use the tulips or whatnot for this kind of beer, but whatever. I've had it before, and who cares what it tastes like anyway, so. Uh, but there we go. i got the nice flyers in there. I'll save a little bit for later. It's got a nice kind of feel to it. It's not like the most hazy of them all, um, but it's pretty good. It smells really good. I don't know. All the beers are pretty solid across the board. I like them. They're out of Asheville, uh, North Carolina, and they have a cool... Uh, on their, I think we talked about this a million times before, but on their outside of their bar, their tasting area, they have this huge mural that somebody painted, and it's Sloth from the Goonies arm-in-arm -arm with uh, Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck. Um, so it's kind of a fun little goofy thing. Anyway, speaking of old retro stuff, 80s and I guess 70s when he started, I don't know. Uh, the first thing I got tonight from Maria was this. These are kind of like leftover like presents that I didn't quite get because we didn't get together in a while, but she found this somewhere. This is Bob Ross, Joy of Cereal. That's right, baby. The Joy of Cereal. It even comes with a fancy little cut out palette on the back so you can I don't know do whatever you want with it uh, there's no surprise what kind of cereal this is supposed to mimic though if you look closely you can tell you know it's not hard to find it's got the or hard to figure out it's got the little marshmallows and stuff on there uh, the marshmallows are happy little trees happy little accidents uh, almighty mountains guiding stars rainbow hearts charming little cabins I love the cabins I do and lovely little bushes so um, so again this is uh, I don't know I'm not gonna try this tonight but uh, I'll probably try this tomorrow and see what we're all about here. But pretty awesome. I don't, I've never actually seen this. So other people probably have somewhere, but um, it's pretty cool. It's great likeness, too. I mean, it's perfect. The classic mountain picture. Anyway. So, now I'm thirsty. This won't go on too long. Mm. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of funk to it. I don't know what it is. It's okay. It's not, it's not the best in the world. So she knows I love snack chips. I like to try all different kinds of weird, crazy chips. So this one kind of blew me away. I don't know where she found this, somewhere in Delaware. Um, but uh, it's the first I've ever seen any of this kind. This is the Wrap Snacks Icon Edition. I guess there's different editions, I don't know. But this is the Wrap Snacks Icon uh, Notorious B.I.G. Cookout Barbecue Sauce Potato Chips. That's right, baby. The B.I.G. Um, it says, we can't change the world unless we change ourselves. That apparently was, a, I guess, a motto of his. I can't say um, I was a big, big fan, but, uh, you know, whatever. I do love snacks, so. This is distributed by Wrap Snacks uh, out of Miami, Florida. Good old James Lindsay, president and CEO. They actually have a number on here. I should call the number on air and be like, all right, 
one eight three three wrap snacks. If anyone wants to call, you know what I mean. See where they're distributed, or maybe I'll call them and tell them when I think about it. So this is kind of cool. I don't know. It's like a it's like a fundraiser type thing. Dollar uh, ninety nine a bag. So for for like two point seven five ounces, it's a little a uh, little steep. But uh, hey, why not? We'll see what's what it's all about. I'm assuming it's going to be like your standard barbecue uh, chip. Uh, it's uh, made with potatoes first. So that's good to see. It's always good to see potatoes as the number one ingredient. <laughs> you know, what else is going to be in here? Uh, and then the cookout barbecue seasoning is sugar, paprika, salt, molasses powder, onion and garlic powder, spices, hickory smoke powder. So I'm glad to see hickory made it to the party. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, not a whole lot of like junk in here though, to be honest with you. I mean, there's like a little bit of sugar, of course, and cotton seed oil, soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, all kinds of oil and shit. Um, some caramel color, but other than that. And salt is actually the final ingredient, so that's not too bad. Sodium is not too high on these. Uh, so anyway, without any further ado, we're going to open these suckers up. See where all they are. I kind of am a fan of barbecue. I do like sour cream and onion as well, but, um, ooh. I don't, they don't smell too bad. They smell pretty good. They don't smell super barbecue right out of the bag. Um, here you can see it's not a whole lot in there, but the chips themselves are nice. They're nice and thick. I like the kind of little bit of a thicker cut. They feel a little bit thicker. They look pretty evenly coated. I like to see a chip that's got some nice coating on there. It didn't seem like they chinched there at all. Go for shop. Ooh. Well, they're good. These are definitely more smoky than that sickeningly sweet barbecue sauce, which is nice. They're not salty at all, for sure. Mmm. Man, I'll tell you what. These are pretty freaking awesome. I am, um, I am pleasantly surprised by these. Mmm. Not that I had any expectations at all, but these actually taste like a really good barbecue. Like, it tastes like a really good rib, or like a brisket. Uh, probably more on the rib end, a little light, a little on the sweet side. But man, that smoke flavor is banging. It's good. I'm not going to lie to you, these are one of the better barbecue chips that I've had. I've had the, uh, of course, the regular brands. And I think somebody, didn't you somebody used to make a KC Masterpiece or Sweet Baby Ray's? I've had some of those before, too. Um, they were pretty good. Man, these are mouth-watering. These will get you in trouble. Oh, I almost lost it. Holy cow. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. Notorious B.I.G., man. Came through, dude. All right, see, now this is one of those things where I don't know if I'm going to find them again, and I'm really going to want to be able to get them. I'll go on the website, check it out. All right. If I had to grade these like on like a one to ten scale, I'm probably like about like an eight, nine. They yeah, are good. They're really good. Mmm. Not super huge on the crunch factor. Um, but other than that, um, they're just light. Mm. They got a good good crispness to them though. They're good. And actually get a little heat on the back end. Believe it or not, like a little bit of that good smoky. It's like a good down home barbecue kind of smoky, a little bit of heat, a little sweet heat. Um, really good, really good. I'm gonna have one more. I'm gonna stop because if I eat the whole bag, for Christ's sake, the carb content in one entire bag is 45 grams of carbs. So especially with the beer, you don't need that. I'm gonna blow your whole, I'm gonna blow your whole diet out. All right, anyway, so that's Wrap Snacks Icon Edition. This is getting a double thumbs up from Stevie Boy here. Um, I'm glad. I'm going to start doing some more of this, hopefully. We'll see what happens. It's probably boring as hell, but there won't be 20 minutes, 30 minutes about me rambling on about beer and beer and beer and beer. Maybe this beer will taste better with that. A little bit. A little bit. Usually, um, hoppy beers are good with spicy stuff, but sometimes you have some sweet stuff. This you know, come, kind of brings the hop out a little bit. This actually tastes a little more hoppy and delicious. No, I just spilled a little bit. Oh, well. So, anyway, that's me and Bobby Ross signing off, saying uh, happy snacking and God bless.